Students, how have you been today? I'm sure that you are okay. Our topic for today is that is disability. That is reading. Disability is not obstacle to success. Before you are going to read the passage that is written about different peoples, different disability problems. I'm going to ask you this question. What's disability? The second question is, do you come across someone with disability? And the third one that is, how do you help disabled people? Let us discuss on these questions together, please. What does disability mean? Share your idea to your teacher what disability means. Before we are going to read the passage, the text, let's going to answer this question. What does disability mean? Share your idea to your teacher. What's disability? That's good. There are different kinds of disabilities, hopefully. Someone who is physically impaired that is disabled. Okay, there are different kinds of disabilities. Learning disabilities, another issue. Physical disabilities is another issue. Right? So, in your reading passage, you will expect that some people who are familiar, who are known, who are popular, whereas they are disabled. But, Disability doesn't bring any change, obstacle for their life. They all become successful throughout the world. They are known. Good. So disability is someone who is physically impaired or mentally thus impaired. The professionals may define it what disability means a lot. What you have exchanged with your teacher about what disability is, to some extent, is a good, it's a good idea. That's it, right you are. And the next question, hopefully, you'll exchange some of your ideas. Do you come across someone with disability? Discuss. Yeah, it's a common phenomena. Disability is a common phenomena of the world. Wherever you go, disability is common, it's available. Different people do have different kinds of disability problem. Now, just share your idea. Do you come across some of or someone with disability? And finally, how do you help disabled people? How do you help them? Yeah, there are different kinds of disability. Let's take for instance. Yeah, for example, you are okay. Good, you can mention it as what? Deafness. Deafness is one kind of disability. Blindness is another disability. And the other one that is what? The speech problem that is also another disability. That is dampness. 
dump. Someone who doesn't speak a word. Dumb people, right? Blind people, deaf people, okay? Handicapped. Yeah, handicapped means someone walking, difficulty of physical impairment. This is what I mean. So I'm sure that you'll guess what kind of peoples are these who are given as example in your reading text. Now you are going to read about three people with disabilities who have achieved success and fame. Good. Now, I would like to give you that some time to read a passage and then I will ask you some questions to answer about those people.
Good. I'm sure that you have got these people in your reading passage. Tofiri Kiboka, that is Uganda. Tofiri Kiboka, Uganda. So, now, so as to find out or to answer this question, let me ask you, please, this. What is the the disability of Tofiri? Tofiri. And what is the disability of Prudence Mabena? And similarly, what is the disability of Helen? Keller. And similarly, where is the place of their born? What about their nationality? This and some other related issues might be asked. So as to answer this question, I'm sure that you have already read the passage critically and beside that, just you will answer important information about these people. What obsta obstacles do they have while they are performing or achieving their goals? Nothing. As it is stated there, disability is not obstacle to success. Definitely. There are different kinds of people who have different disabilities. Whereas, if they are successful in their life, they can achieve their goal without any difficulties. Hopefully, you understand the passage, what it's talking about, and you'll have sufficient information about these people, and you learn a lot about these disabled people, and similarly, they are, it shows that they are strong enough so as to achieve their goals without any difficulties. Similarly, of course, you can take some of the well-known scientists, let's say, Albert Einstein, he do have a difficulties of what? Learning disability. But it's over that he became one of the scientists in the world. The same is true. Thomas Edison, he do have the difficulty of learning problem. Right? Learning problem. Learning by itself, problem is by itself, that is a disability, not physically impaired. Right? Learning problem by itself, a difficulty. Let's take, yeah, George Washington, the first president of USA, the former president, I mean that, okay? Washington, George Washington also has disability. You see? But they all became successful in their life. So, after struggling a lot, they became so successful and became known in the world. Therefore, disability is not nothing. It may happen within a night. Whatever it is, right, a disability is nothing. It's simply a life phenomena that exists or that come across in our day-to-day life, but it's nothing. Since we have ambition at the same time vision, yeah, we can achieve everything what we need. So hopefully by reading this text, you learn a lot about these people. Thank you. Let's see Helen Curran. This is as example. We have already stated her, she's from USA, okay? They are different countries, right? Where do, where do they born? It was already written in the textbook. Yeah, you can read it. You can understand. What kind of missions do they accomplish? Yeah, therefore, so us to understand about this story, about those disabled people, 
very important strategy that we can use is that is scheme and scan. What we understand from scheming part is, right, after you finish the story about these disabled people, they all have different missions, different objectives, different visions, different goals. They all have become successful in their life. So while you are reading all the passage, all the text that is written about each disabled people, you can tell to the class or to your teacher, oh, this passage is talking about this issue. So she is achieving her goal with different techniques, blah, 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 something like that. That's it. So scanning, of course, definitely to identify or to show or to indicate where the place the place of, that means, birthplace, it's okay, the time, when were they born, the time, the country, okay, what kind of disability do they have, yeah, all these are identified by the strategy you think that is scanning strategy. They are not all blind, they are not all deaf, they are not all what, dumb, okay, they are not all have learning disabilities. Right? They all are what? Physically impaired. It doesn't bring any change just to lag on their life. They all become successful in their life. So I'm sure that you'll learn a lot about this issue. Next to this is that, just I would like to give you that, some of the questions. After you finish reading the text, I'm going to give you that, this question. Right? The first question is that, okay, how do you inform the community? How do you inform the community about disability? That is it. How do you form the community? In what way do you awareness to the community about disability? The second one. Write any of a person who is disable and achieve his or her life. Right, it can be that is a paragraph maybe, it can be a text, etc. So you can share your experience to the class. That's all. Good. Thank you so much. Hopefully, you will come with this activity next time. Next, thank you so much. Next to this, we'll see that language focus. Verb plus verb patterns. In what way do you form patterns? Verbs do have different kinds of patterns. Some examples are listed here now. Verb plus an infinitive is another pattern. Verb plus object plus infinitive is another pattern. Verb plus bare infinitive is another issue. Verb plus object plus bare infinitive is another context. And verb plus ing is another issue. Verb plus object plus ing is another issue. Please, students, don't confuse about this issue or this topic. We're simply talking about the experience that you had before when you were in grade 9 and 10. Yeah? You simply check about kinds of gerundis. Yeah? Gerundis in a sense, what is the function of gerund? The used as the subject, the used as the object, right? The used as at the end of the sentence, etc. Therefore, so in this case, we can use different words. We can list all the words at the same time so as to show that in this verb pattern. 
It's simply this topic is talking about gerundis. Gerundis with ING form. Gerundis, they take both what? Bare infinitive and without infinitive. In other words, and the gerund that takes that is ING. This is what you mean that verb plus verb paternus. That's all. And simply, verb plus ING or infinitive, this is different kinds of patterns. How do you form or how do you use verbs? Let's say some examples. You see, they decided to stay at home. Let's see. This one is a verb. Okay? This verb is an infinitive with two. As they decide, they decided to stay. I decided to stay home because of COVID-19. So the word decided is a kind of verb that goes with what? A verb with an infinitive form. That is, a verb with an infinitive form means he have to stay. In other words, don't say that. They decide stay at home. This is what you mean in other words. This is one kind of pattern. But I don't mean that only decided, come on. There are no two verbs are available. We can't list down them here on the screen. Similarly, come on, they will come soon, they will come soon, bear infinitive, it's obvious that will is an auxiliary verb, sure, auxiliary verb is, okay, usually use without to, in other words, verb plus infinitive, here is a verb, modal auxiliary verb, come, bear infinitive means there is no to, in other words, don't be confused. Bare infinity means without to. Don't say that they will to come soon. No, 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 no. It's wrong. Because the grammar doesn't allow us to use in such a way. Come on again. You enjoy listening to music. Enjoy. Look. Listening. They enjoy listening to music. Verb plus our energy. In such a case, Enjoy can be used in different contexts too. You enjoy listen to music. You enjoy listen to music, or you enjoy listening to music is a formal one, definitely, of course. It's okay, but in such a case, what I would like to uh, say to state to you is that verb plus I energy in a sense, listen is that is the main verb. What comes next is that is I energy. Verb plus I energy is another form of using verbs in different contexts. So this helps you to make what? Your sentence especially, it's okay? Students do have problem of forming sentences, even simple sentences. So if you understand about these patterns, how the verbs are used in different contexts especially, these are the common contexts. Based on this procedure, you can make or you can practice forming different sentences while you are writing or practicing in the classroom. She invited me to have lunch. She invited me to have lunch. Come on. This is a kind of verb. There is what comes, an object, and then infinitive. Invited me to have. This is another way of what? Using this pattern. She invited me to have lunch. Similarly, we can say that my instructor informed me to deliver the lesson properly. Listen to me. My instructor ordered me or my instructor advised me to deliver the lesson accurately. That is another example. We can use a lot of examples. It's not only this one. Right? You can refer to your grammar book using different sources. Therefore, verb plus object plus infinity means like this. Similarly, I will help you to move the table. Come on again. Here it is a verb, an auxiliary verb. It's over that we have already seen so far, and then will you. Okay, verb plus an object. Both are verbs. This is auxiliary verb, this is a main verb. We'll help you to move 
same pattern. It's another kind of pattern. Of course, it is similar with the uh, previous one. It's no problem. It's not different at all. The only difference that exists here now is that in the this sentence there is a modal verb, whereas in the previous one, no verb at all. I have just simply put it. Whatever it is, the form seems like this. So this is also possible way of using uh, infinity forms. Excuse me for interrupting you. Okay, for interrupting you. This is another way. Simply, it began to rain. It began raining. Look, in such a case, right, to rain. This means verb plus with what? An infinitive with two. This is an infinitive with two. It began raining. This is an infinitive form with what? Energy form. It's okay? I energy, verb plus I energy. Began raining. Both are possible. It began to rain is possible. It began raining is also possible. Both are acceptable. In other words, right? There are, there are what? Words which use in both contexts. In the case of verb plus energy or verb plus an infinitive form is also possible. I saw them talk angrily, but nothing happened. You see now, talk angrily. Look, I saw them talking. An infinitive verb without form. It's okay? Yeah. I saw them talk angrily. I saw them talking angrily. Same is true. Both are acceptable. Both grammars are acceptable. Saw them talking. If you like, you can say, I saw them talk, or I saw them talking angrily. Both are acceptable. And Okay, that's all. And the next one that is, let's see, ability in the past, a present, and future. What do you mean by that ability in the past, present, and future? To understand this lesson, in what context do we use, okay, future tense, and past tense, present tense, so as to express our ability? So hopefully that you'll go back and refer your grammar books when you think about ability, you have to see the kind of modal verbs, the kind of words which stands for referring to possibility also available there is okay? Right? Possibility, probability, okay, certainty, etc. Anyway, let's see or let's start from the simple. Can it's okay? Just simply to talk about general ability. Just simply talk about general ability. And this is, can has the same meaning as be able to, or am, um, or is, or are. In what context? When can stands for referring to general ability, it is the same as the verb to be formless. That is set in the bracket. Let's take one stars. Aryan can walk on his hands. Right? His ability. An ability which belongs to Aryan is that he can walk on his hands. So in such a case, right, ability in the present. Therefore, he can walk on his hands. And instead of can, you can use Aryan is able to walk on his hands possible. And similarly, I can give you that lot of some other examples. Good. Now, let's see. Another example is okay. Jonathan can write English. Can write English without any difficulties. Same. Jonathan can write English without any difficulties. And instead of that, Jonathan is able to write English without any difficulties. So, these are 
possible examples at the same time can when it express general ability. Good. Let's see or let's talk about could. In the case of what? General ability in the past. Don't forget that. Still now we are talking about ability in the past, ability in the present, ability in the future too. In the case of could, right, to express general ability, same example be used as we discussed so far. The only change is that in the case of the verb to be, the verb to be becomes were and was. Jonathan could read well when he was KG student. Look, this is a past ability. Jonathan could read well when he was KG student. And instead of that, could can be replaced by what? Was able to. Similar, without changing its meaning, we can use it in such context too. The woman could make a good breakfast. The woman could make, were able to, is also possible. So this implied that could stands for referring to general ability in the past. Come on again, shall. When it comes in the case of shall, is everybody knows, shall or will, both are acceptable, it's okay. Shall be able to, will be able to. It's simply talk about future ability. Future ability. They will be able to build their economy when they were recover from social crisis. You see? They will be able to build their economy when they were recover from their social crisis. So, instead of will be able to, shall be able to is also possible. This implies that future form in the case of what? Ability. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. That's all, students. Until we meet next time, goodbye.